it's time to lean into Strand, not shy away from it, as I'm about to show you why you've been using the new grapple grenade wrong and how you can use it to get some of the fastest Strand super cooldowns no matter whether you're a hunter, titan or warlock in a build in 3 minutes or less. All 3 Strand supers are extremely strong, so why wait for one when you can get them as fast as this? Yes, this is an ideal scenario whereby a million shadow frog converge on you out of nowhere and you somehow miraculously ended up at Shuro Chi, but the proof is in the pudding and you can take this setup anywhere you go. This works well on all classes, I've been enjoying it the most on the Fred Runner, mainly thanks to the new exotic helmet. It grants you woven mail when grappling, which also gives you damage and flinch reduction with this equipped. Intrinsically on Hunters, you also automatically get two grapple charges thanks to the Widow's Silk aspect. This also creates a tangle at the point of grapple, which can come in extremely handy. This is because when you do grapple onto a tangle, you don't lose your grapple charge and so can infinitely grapple onto a tangle as much as you want. You can also throw it and grapple onto it to cover some crazy distances too for some bonus style points. But the main focus of this strand setup is the grapple melee ability. This allows you to do a charge melee attack at the end of your grapple and it'll deal huge area effect damage on impact, unraveling nearby enemies, sending off some strand threads for good measure. Now this is kind of a weird one because this ability seems to be coded as a grenade and a melee ability kill, but the beauty of that is how it works so perfectly with the new armor charge mod system. System. Previously, this combo couldn't be achieved because of the armor energy affinity, but now you can combine the extreme potency of both ashes to assets and hands on. Ashes to Assets grant super energy on grenade final blows and hands on grant super energy on melee final blows. I've done a bit of testing and found that a full set of hands on mod gives less super energy than a full set of Ashes to Assets mods does, but if you combine two Ashes to Asset mods with one hands on mod, you'll consistently get the most benefit from the super energy these mods grant to you on a final blow with a charged grapple melee into a group of enemies. It's night and day how much difference this makes, and because you can infinitely grapple to a tangle, it has near on infinite uptime. But to combat any grapple downtime you can chuck on grenade kickstart to return grenade energy, firepower to create orbs of power with grapple final blows, innoversion to grant grenade energy on collecting orbs of power and finally bomber mods to grant grenade energy on using your class ability. If you select the grenade authorized mods from the artifact of season 2, a lot of these mods will have reduced energy costs as well. The most powerful fragment in destiny 2 is also a must have with the thread of generation to create grenade energy on causing damage and by now it's become standard to pair it with the exotic osteo strigger for its excellent area of effect and damage over time add clearing nature. With this quick 3 minute build you'll be a true green flying spider man in no time but if you'd rather have an entire army of friendly nukes at your disposal then this next build is right up your street. 